words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hey, welcome to day 25 of the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. And I'm really excited about what we're going to talk about today because I believe it's going to maybe get you to think in a little different tone, maybe a little different dimension. Uh, So what is the difference between uh, diminish and increase because this is what our words do our words either diminish things or they increase things now let me give you the definition of these words first of all uh, the word diminish uh, means to make or cause to appear less to make or cause to appear less so whenever you are speaking with Sean Hora, you are making one to appear less. If you're talking to them uh, in a negative way, you are making themselves appear less or to cause them to, to appear less. If you're talking to somebody about somebody, you're causing this person to look at this person less. Let's give you an example. If you're talking bad about your brother then to, to, to a sister, then you're causing your sister to look at the brother less if you're speaking evil. So when we say the word diminish, uh, this is what LaShawn Hora does. It diminishes people. It causes them to appear less. The next thing is to loosen uh, the authority or dignity or reputation. So what LaShawn Hora does is it causes people, to, uh, you, you're loosening their dignity uh, to where it's not solid. You're loosening uh, their authority or, or their, their uh, reputation. It's not tight anymore, it's loose. It's, it, you, call, you make people you cause people to think that somebody is less than what they were. It's loose and where they were solid. Now they have this view that they're not quite that solid. So that's what diminishing does. Diminishing is, through, through, through LaShawn Hora does all these things. Now let's look at the word increase. The word increase means to become progressively greater in size, amount, or number. So when we speak Shimarash, uh, Halashan, which is the good speech, uh, then what begins to happen is we start building somebody up. We start causing them to be greater or to, uh, to become progressively greater in size and in value and to multiply uh, the production. So what we're doing is we're, we're allowing their life to be multiplied in what they do and what the, and how people view them. We, we speak positively of those things. And it's not just people. It can be anything. It can be a city, a nation, uh, your church or synagogue, whatever you want to call. These things have an effect. And so when we talk about diminishing, this is the results of speaking evil. When we talk about increase, this is the result of speaking good. Now, Here's the thing, and I, I wrote this down, and so I want, I want to kind of read it here. It says, everything about our speech um, is, has a multi, multiple dimensional effect, okay? And so you're not just affecting one area. 
Okay, you're affecting many things at one time. So here's the first thing. You're affecting that which goes before God and before angels and demons. Okay, those two things. That which goes before God and that which affects or goes before angels and demons. Demons take that word. The accuser of the brethren goes before God, says, hey, look what they did. Angels excel in strength by the authority of the word of God. So here we see de diminish and increase. Okay. Uh, here's an, here's uh, another one. So that's two. Here's another one. Uh, uh, to the person which you talk to. So the person that you talk to, there's a diminish and an increase. Then there's whom you talk about. Uh, the the person that you talk about is going it's going to affect them both uh, externally and internally how people view them or how they view themselves on the outside and how it makes them feel on the inside so there's an external and internal factor so that's that's right there is five things okay the first one the words that go before God, the words that go, uh, the second one, the words that go before angels and demons, the demons take those words and go before God, say, ha ha, look here, angels excel in strength by the authority of the word of God. When you speak positive, they, they work on our behalf. So that's three. Then there's that to the person which you are talking to, causing them to sin, but because they're just the listening. Then there's the external view of, of how people are viewed based upon whether we diminish or increase based upon words. Then the, there's the internal view, how that person feels on the inside based upon words that diminish or increase. Now, to yourself, here's the last section, the external effect it has on you, how people view you based upon your own evil speech. The internal aspect What's it doing to us on the inside when we speak evil? Okay, it's tearing us up. And then the third thing on this part is the eternal part of this, the world to come. The judgments and the rewards in the world to come. So these are eight things that I've noticed that words have effect on uh, areas, the, the, the many dimensions, okay, internal, external to self, eternal reward, how, uh, how angels and demons respond to it, how we affect people internally and externally based upon words, and how we cause others to sin or not sin based upon their listening and speaking to them. So that's eight things. And so I got to thinking, okay, eight is a uh, there are eight dimensions or dynamics of speech. And so eight is a number of transcendence. Okay. And this is the thing. Transcendence is something that goes beyond the usual mark. So we, e we are either cause, <coughs> excuse me, we're either causing people to diminish beyond the usual mark or increase beyond the usual mark based upon words. And, you know, the thing about it is, it also relates to the course of nature. Eight relates to, 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 to uh, uh, everything above nature. So it's affecting spiritual worlds mainly, but the problem is we're also seeing how this transcends not only in the spiritual world, but it also affects us in the natural world. Because everything we're doing is setting precedence for the world to come. And so what I want you to think about is that your words are either diminishing or increasing in eight, eight different directions at one time. Not just here and here. At one time. Eight different dimensions at one time. Let me read you a scripture out of Proverbs, and here's what it says. It's a Proverbs 15, 4. It says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. This word breach means to fracture or break. It's broken. So a wholesome tongue is life. It's something that increases. Uh, life is about increasing things. But diminishing things is taking away. 
it causes things to be broken. And so what I want you to understand is, is that when you speak evil, okay, when you're speaking evil of people, you are diminishing things in eight realms and you're causing fractures. But when you speak the good, words of edification, words of, uh, that build up, that increase, you're also affecting eight dimensional realms. And in the process, instead of breaking things, you're healing things. Let me read you one more scripture real quick. Ephesians 4, 29. And it says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of the edifying, uh, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Now, what is grace? Grace is favor. What is grace? Grace is things that cause things to increase, not decrease, not diminish. So when we speak words of edification, we are causing increase. We are causing grace to happen in these eight realms. Okay? And that's what we want to do. That's where we want to focus. That's what we want out of life. Not to diminish and cause fractures or brokenness, but to increase and cause great grace. Okay? So that's your goal today. That's your goal today. Think dimensions of eight different dimensions. Think either diminishing or increasing. What am I doing? Am I breaking or am I causing grace to happen? All right. Hey, thanks for joining me on the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.